Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Anant and today we've got the BlackBerry Z30 with us. Now this is the fourth BlackBerry 10 OS device to enter the market. The second touchscreen device after the Z10 and uh, it's got the largest screen that a BlackBerry has ever adorned. This is a 5 inch uh, AMOLED display and let me just tell you I've been using this as a primary device for the last 10 days and prior to this I have used the Z10 as a primary device for a couple of months. So in this review, I'm going to take you through the Z30, tell you what's new, how does it compare to the Z10. At first, the BlackBerry Z30 looks like the big brother of the Z10. But then you'll notice it draws more elements from the Q10 in terms of look and feel. The Z10 has a textured rubberized back whereas the Z30 has the carbon fiber type of texture on another rubberized back, just like the Q10. It also has a metallic bezel all around, which is not seen on the Z10. Let's not forget the fact that the Z30 is bigger and heavier than the Z10. It comes with a larger 5-inch screen compared to the 4.2-inch screen on the Z10. Even though they have almost the same screen resolution, the pixel density is different. The Z10 is sharper, but it's not noticeable to the naked eye. The big difference lies in the fact that the Z30 comes with an AMOLED screen, whereas the Z10 has an LCD. An AMOLED screen means a little more saturated color, but a big boost in battery life as AMOLED works on individual pixels, so to create darker images, they can be turned off. LCDs on the other hand need backlight, even to create a black screen, so it drains more battery. The Z30 boasts of a marginally better processor and graphics capabilities, but carries the same 2GB RAM and 16GB of internal memory. The Z30 also has a micro SD card slot for memory expansion and a much larger 2880 mAh battery. I'll tell you more about that battery and how long it lasted me later. The Z30 comes with the latest BlackBerry 10.2 OS and the Z10 also is now upgradable. Now, I really like the BB10 OS for its gesture play and the way they've got rid of the buttons, but it requires a little getting used to and once you get the hang of it, it's pretty neat. I like the fact that you don't have to search for the power button every time you want to wake up your phone. Still, I do have some issues with the interface. For instance, when you drop into the hub by swiping left, it brings you back to your last open window rather than the main notifications hub, which kind of gets irritating. The new 10.2 OS now allows you to see some notifications from your lock screen, but even they are static and you can't directly go into the notification or post a reply, which is pretty frustrating for a touchscreen phone to display if there is no interactivity. There is also a new priority hub which filters out most of the important notifications for you and brings them up front in a separate inbox. The phone learns from your usage and figures out your important contacts and you can even customize it by adding contacts to the priority hub. Even though the BlackBerry 10 has its issues, it's these little things that BlackBerry has got right which made me stick on with the Z30. BlackBerry retains its DNA as a good communications device. At least the essentials are covered. The call quality on the phone was pretty good and I was running two email accounts, Facebook, Twitter, Evernote pretty much regularly. Even the browser is pretty damn fast. It doesn't have great multitasking, but it supports Flash, something that others have given up on. I would often watch a video or two on YouTube or even indulge in a game sometimes. But that didn't happen much, considering that there aren't many options out there on the BlackBerry store and the lack of apps is a big concern for anyone who wants to play the latest games or have more fun with your smartphone. The other thing that I really want to highlight is the alarm clock. That's right, it's so efficient and brilliantly designed that I would say it's one of the top 5 features of the BlackBerry 10 operating system. It's super quick to set an alarm and when you set one, all the notifications are turned off. So for instance, you had a late night and the next morning you want to catch some extra hours of sleep. Once you set the alarm, the Z30 makes sure that you don't get harassed with calls or notifications in the wee hours of the morning. Even though you will get all the calls and notifications, it won't sound them off. One of the most understated features of the BlackBerry 10 operating system is its keyboard. 
I've said this before and I'll say this again. The BB10 keypad is one of the best touchscreen keypads I've come across among smartphones. It's snappy and has great predictive text. And the more you type on it, the more it learns from you. Even with stubby fingers like mine, if the error rate is high on my typing, the autocorrect does a fabulous job. Both the Z10 and the Z30 have the same cameras, both shoot at 8 megapixels and can capture full HD videos. Even though both the cameras have same specifications, the Z30 seems to have a slightly wider field of view. And photographs also had a warmer color tone in comparison to the Z10. The one place where the Z10 trumps over the Z30 in terms of camera is autofocus. The Z10 is much faster in switching focus. If you want a detailed comparison of the two cameras, just click on the link on the video. Even though the Z30 is the flagship device from the VV10 platform, it doesn't boast of the sharpest screen or the best processor or the best camera. In fact, if you compare the Z30 to some of the other devices available on Android or iOS, you will see that it doesn't match up at all in terms of specs or performance for that matter. But I have to say that after moving from Android to a BB10 device and after using it for 10 days, it was like going through 10 days of smartphone detox. And that's mainly because of the lack of apps. Because nothing I could find on the Blackberry World Store that I could get addicted to. So essentially, I ended up using the Z30 as a phone. I mean, a smartphone with no frills as such, not as a gaming device or for content absorption, just as a communications tool. Now that's something I'd like to highlight. The BB10 platform does very few things. It offers a very limited feature set compared to Android or iOS, but those few things, it does them pretty damn well and it covers the essentials. And last but not least, battery life. This phone lasted me one and a half days on a single charge, which is by far the longest any BlackBerry de device has lasted me. So I think that is great. So essentially the Z30 is a no frills device uh, it trumps over the Z10 on almost every aspect if, if you're fine with a larger form factor. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, this is for all those people who've already subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate the support. And those of you who like this video and would like to subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. More importantly, if you have any questions about the Z30, the Z10, or any of the other smartphones in the market or anything related to technology, uh, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. And Am I forgetting something else? No, that's about it. I'll see you next week.